welcome back to my channel hopefully this lighting is good um we are doing a date night tonight so this will be a vlog you guys just see our date night or whatever um we're about to head to the movies the movie don't start until nine o'clock but we're going to go get something to eat really quick and then um yeah we'll take it from there so i will see you guys once we figure out what we're going to eat so yeah are you excited yes ma'am so yeah see you guys later all right guys first stop longhorn because we're hungry we have a couple minutes to spare so let's go eat babe you hungry you hungry hungry yes ma'am Mm -hmm. Burger. Um, uh, not too hard. Like medium hard? Like a little bit of pink? Or no pink sure. at all? Sure. Medium hard. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Funny, man. She looks quite a couple quite. Look how beautiful she looks, guys. She's so beautiful. <laughs> Look at her. Look at that smile. Anyway. Hey, that's my wife. My wife. Anyway, what do you value the most? Uh, he come with the question. This is, I guess, this, we haven't had a date night in a minute, huh? So you have to come yeah, with I know. What do I value most? I value family. Okay. Um, I think I value family the most. Um, honestly and truly, without family, and that, and I know some people don't have that support from family, but my family is my everything because it was always just us. It was always just us pushing each other to do the best that we can. So I value family and anyone close to me, like close friends. A lot of my close friends know my family and they know like my family loves them just as equally as us. So yeah, I value family and close friends the most. That okay. support system is what you need to get through life on. <laughs> Good, that's a great question. What kind of drink is that, by the way? Wait, a great answer? Yeah, that was a great answer. You know what I meant. Anyway, what kind of drink is that? Sangria. A sangria. It's berry. It's okay. Oh, wow. It's really just wine and juice. Alcoholic or non-alcoholic? It's wine. Wine is very healthy. Remember that. Oh, wow. Wine is healthy. It's made under the grapes. That's strong wine. alcohol is not healthy and it puts weight on you. So if you're trying to watch your weight, just drink wine. You made me want to ask you. Next question. Damn. You don't even know another thing. <laughs> what makes you feel most fulfilled? Damn. That's a hard question. What makes you feel most what makes right, you feel that's, most fulfilled? Alright, that's hard. Let's skip it then. Thank you. Really? Yeah. Because honestly, like meeting you. It pushed me to do the things that I really wanted to do in my life. You know, the YouTube, yeah. the content. Like, I don't know, just like, just meeting you really wanted me, like, made me get up and actually start doing things. Like, I feel like without that push, I'll just be sitting here still. Like, just sitting there. Like, oh, I wish I could do that. I wish I could do that. And everybody can do it. Yeah, Anyone yeah. can do what they want to do. So I feel like you gave me that extra push to actually get up. And I feel like if, if whenever you call my phone, I'm like, let me act like I'm doing something. Let me get up and tell him I'm doing stuff. Because like, I feel like if you call and I'm not doing it, you be like, what you guys want for the day? I'm like, uh, nothing. Get up. You can do this. So like, yeah, you gotta like push me in. You help me like fulfill my dreams and like push me to that next goal that I always want to accomplish and stuff. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. That kind of made me feel good in myself. I mean, that's what a relationship's supposed to be. You're like. supposed to push your partner off. You know, right. to be the best that they can be. Right. This like a little takeover, ain't it? Because it's usually, usually from your point of view. Mm -hmm. Look, I got another question. They take over the ball. Mm. What's the next question? What is your love language? Let's zoom in on that. Don't zoom in too close. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what would you say my love language is? I know yours. What would you say mine is? I'm a little difficult. I wouldn't really know because I'm a little, I'm a little difficult. I mean, you got. Thank you. Thank you. I would say. I would say gift giving. 
and I am a giver. My thing is I like to make people feel happy. I like to make people feel happy. I don't know, I just think everybody deserves to be loved, shown love, not just seeing it. Um, I feel like actions speak louder than words. So I say my love language is gifting and also just like me being there for people. Like I feel like like don't push me away. I like to be there for you. Like we're gonna go through this together. So I feel like my love language is always being like the backbone for somebody or like just gifting. Anyway. Hey, I got another question. So, I got another question. What's what what's a non negotiable? Yeah, like it's something that's it, no matter what it is, we cannot negotiate. Like it is, it's like it is what it is. Mm -hmm. The only thing that popped my head is cheating. Cheating? Yeah. 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 Cheating is no negotiating. Right? Like what you mean? I messed up. I made a mistake. You don't, cheating is not a mistake. Cheating yeah. is a it's an option. Like you chose to do it. Yeah, yeah. Like it's a choice. Cheating is a choice. If you choose to participate in cheating, then you want it to. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't say like I can negotiate that. Oh, I was going through it and I was wrong. Yes. Thank you so much. You can't say um, I was going through it and she she came home to me and this and that. Like you know, cheating is not negotiable. I don't care what you say. That's a fact. Like I was saying, 2024 is coming up. You know what I'm saying? And it wouldn't be right if we wouldn't manifest our goals and stuff from now while we're in 2023. So, what are the top three things you were looking for in 2024? I would say the top thing I am most looking forward to is money management for sure and being financially stable and financially where I want to be. Would that be two or one? They could all go in the same category, right? Okay, so the one? Like money management? You gotta pick three. I would say money management. I would say my relationship with God. First and foremost, first of all, let's let's switch the God come first. Okay. So my relationship with God, money management, and just I could say the third one would be growing within myself, learning myself more and more. Um, yeah, and just growing within myself because okay. I feel like if you work on yourself, you'll be better for others. So if I work on myself, I'm better for my relationship. I work on myself, I'm better with that relationship with my parents or something like that, you know? So I can say, relationship with God, money management, and self. Oh, okay. Well, y'all heard, heard it here first. What are your top three? My top three? I'd have to say. First, getting closer with God. I know this year that's what, that was one of our goals was to like get closer with God, and I feel like we really worked on that. But I really want to get even closer as far as like knowing the word. You know what I mean? Like reading the word. You know what I mean? Because the word feeds your soul. Number two, I would definitely have to say growth. I definitely want to, because I'm not gonna lie, in this, in this relationship, like, we both grown a lot and we both learned a lot about each other. Like, when you realize, you know what I mean? So it's like, her, like, teaching me the stuff that I need to work on in myself, within myself, it makes me want to work harder on my growth. So I say growth, too, as well. So that's two. And I would say, overall, being consistent. There's a lot of times that I'll start something and I won't finish. And I feel as if like I could be more consistent within things. Because I feel like consistency is like the ultimate reason as like well not the ultimate but one of the reasons why you know you become successful. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? If you be consistent at one certain thing for a particular amount of time, you never know how far it might take you. You know, can't get complacent. Definitely not. So you know that's that's my you know my little three. I'm so thankful.
date night was fun. We did not get to enjoy our little dinner because we were rushing to the movies. So we had to take our food to go and then we had to sneak the food into the movie theaters. But anyways, um, tonight was fun. I loved every part of the movie. Bay. Bay. Cut it down, please. But yes, the movie was 10 out of 10. I'll go see it again. I'm so sad I was not able to go to the concert. But she did her thing. Like, Beyonce is that girl. Like, such a icon. Like, she really did her big one. But other than that, we're about to relax, take our clothes off, take showers, get in the bed. Because it is late. That movie was long. Well, documentary, whatever you want to call it. But other than that, thank you guys so much for supporting me. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you can know when I upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.